Alden started her Mary Kay business at 19 years of age. She was going into her sophomore year at Western Michigan University. She earned the use of her first career car. Are you ready for this? Five months after starting her business, and she promoted herself to the position of sales director. She's been a star consultant every single quarter since she began her Mary Kay business. Alden has been on Mary Kay's national court of sharing five times, earning a gorgeous diamond bumblebee every single time she's honored at that position. She's also been in the national court of sales four times, earning beautiful diamond rings. She has completed the prestigious triple star three different years. That means national court of sales, national court of sharing, and leading her unit to a unit club. Alden and her unit have achieved a unit circle five times, the highest in 2022 at the prestigious circle of excellence level. She led her unit to sell over $650,000 of products in one year. Alden and her unit have earned seven Mary Kay cars, three of them being the prestigious pink Cadillac that you just saw. And at 21 years of age, she was the youngest pink Cadillac sales director in the state of Michigan. I love that. Alden's highest monthly earnings so far, and that's commissions and her personal sales have exceeded $25,000 in a month. Go ahead, add an emoji to the chat. I wanna see their face. Show me how amazed you are at that number. Alden lives in Detroit, Michigan with her husband, Cody and her two French bulldogs, Mr. and Cash. How cute is that? And Alden, I'm excited to say, has a baby on the way arriving in June of 2023. Alden is a senior Cadillac sales director, one of the top leaders across the company. But what I love about Alden is just how real she is. She's authentic. She's passionate about her business. She has a huge work ethic. And she is following in her mom's leadership legacy. And now she is a legacy leader in Mary Kay. She's one of my favorite people. I can talk to Alden all day long. She loves strategy, ideas, thinking big. Y'all are going to love her. Alden, I'm going to turn it over to you. Please share with us a little bit about your story. And thank you so much for being here tonight, my friend. Awesome, Karen. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. When Karen asked me to speak on this, I listened to her message and immediately said, absolutely, yes. I admire your national so much. And like she said, she could talk to me forever. I could talk to Karen forever, but I could also listen to Karen forever. I've had the privilege of knowing Karen for, I don't even know how many years now I've admired her from afar. And now I get to call myself one of her peers. I was on a top trip in Scotland with her and her husband in September, thanks to Mary Kay. Um, and now she's a national, so I need to run after her a little bit more. Um, but I'm so excited to have the privilege to speak to you guys um, tonight a little bit about my Mary Kay journey and some choices that I made um, that I think can be beneficial to you guys as consultants and for guests to hear a little bit more about Mary Kay. You may have never you know, known the big picture of Mary Kay. Um, maybe you have seen pink Cadillacs before. Maybe you kind of thought they were like a you know, unicorn kind of thing. You've never seen them in real life, but obviously that video showed there are a lot of pink Cadillacs out there. Mine is getting poured on right down here um, as we speak. But I am so excited just to share um, with consultants so you guys can hear some choices that I've made that have helped me uh, move ahead in my Mary Kay business and have been beneficial, but also for guests. Maybe there's some things that you know you realize or you hear tonight that could benefit you with a Mary Kay business or simply just to make the choice to support your consultant's business. I know for me, I would use all of the Mary Kay products and be so proud to purchase Mary Kay products because I knew I was supporting a woman's business and the Mary Kay Ash Foundation that Karen just talked about. So I hope that this helps bolster your um you know, your commitment to Mary Kay products um, and hear a little bit about the opportunity. So like Karen said, I started when I was 19 years old and my start to Mary Kay is different than most. She shared that I'm following in my mom's footsteps. I actually came home from the hospital in a pink Cadillac. So my mom has been in Mary Kay 
for 36 years, longer than I have been alive. So I had the privilege of coming home in a pink Cadillac and I'm so excited. In June, I'm gonna get to take my baby home in a Mary Kay pink Cadillac too, which will be so fun and a great experience. Um, but I grew up in Metro Detroit and that is where I still live with my husband now. Um, but when I was growing up, I used to roll my eyes dramatically and say, I'm never going to do Mary Kay. And my mom was always like, can you just please, like, you can say no politely, just stop the eye rolling. Um, but something that shifted for me was I grew up, um, I was in high school in around 2008, 2009. I graduated in 2011 and I was living in Metro Detroit, like I said, and I just remember seeing that was when we saw, you know, the recession and Detroit was hit really hard because we have the auto industry. We've got the big three. And I saw a lot of my friends, families, um, kind of fall apart because their parents lost really big jobs. And I saw that my family was not changed or shaken at all because of the stability of my mom's Mary Kay career and her choice to build a business at, with Mary Kay as a true business. And I remember thinking in my head, okay, I'll stop the eye rolling. And I, I, I might consider this because I don't know about you guys, but most women, we like control, being in control of things. And I valued how my mom had control over her business and wasn't at the whim of an economy or an employer. So I remember thinking, I could maybe do this Mary Kay thing. I liked the perks, you guys. I learned how to drive on a pink Escalade. I, you know, liked all the trips that I was able to go on um, because of my mom's Mary Kay income. I valued that I had a mom that was able to work a very successful business, make a very high income, but also be a mom at the same time. She was always around. Sometimes in high school, I kind of wish she wasn't around as much as she was, but she was always there. And I'm so thankful for that now and looking forward to being able to create that for my future family as well. Um, so like I said, I was in high school then, so I decided I was going to go to college. I was going to study business and um, going into my sophomore year, I um, my brother also went to Western. He's two years older than me. And my mom had given us a car to share. And I don't know about you guys, but like, I didn't learn the sharing thing or I chose not to learn it very well. So my brother and I were sharing this car very well. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to earn one of these Mary Kay cars because I had seen that my mom had a Mary Kay car my entire life and I knew they were real. So I decided I'm going to see if this Mary Kay thing could really be for me. So I made the choice to start and I quickly learned that I loved the business. I loved the atmosphere. I loved helping women feel better about themselves. I loved finding solutions for women, starting with their skincare, going to color, helping give women choices and hope with a Mary Kay business and all that it could afford them. So I was able to earn my first car. It was a Chevy Cruze at the time. It was white and I was obsessed with it. Um, and I was working probably 10 or 15 hours a week around my full-time college schedule. And I was able to promote myself to a sales director position and really realized I love this. This is something that I can see myself doing for the rest of my life. And I loved that I could use my gifts and talents and I didn't have to be as much as I want to be just like my mom. When I grow up, I didn't have to be her. I didn't have to be a cookie cutter, which is different than what I saw. I was being groomed for in business school. I saw it different. You know, if you chose to go in different directions, you almost had to fit a specific mold with how you looked or your specific education or your outfits or whatever it was. And I just didn't really like that. I liked that I, in Mary Kay, was given the opportunity to grow into the best version of myself, who I was created to be. And I love being able to turn around and help other women feel the same way and be able to grow into the best version of themselves. So this has what, been what I have done full time ever since. Um, so I used to joke and say I'm old and married. I got married really young. Um, and so now I say I'm old, married and pregnant. Um, so that is um, me now, but some choices that I think have been, you know, such a blessing to me because of my Mary Kay business started really at the beginning. I was able to obviously earn a free car, but prove to myself that I could earn an income, a very 
good income working, you know, very part time around school. And I didn't have to have a degree that told me I was worthy of it. You guys, I was 19 driving a company car. Like, I really didn't know what I was doing, but I was coachable. And in Mary Kay, if you're willing to learn and you're willing to, you know, be coached by women that have gone before you, you can get anywhere in this business. The sky's the limit. And when I got done with college, my, I should say my husband got done with college, um, his boyfriend then, then fiance, husband, we dated through college. He played hockey in college um, and had the opportunity. We got married right after he graduated, had the opportunity to play professional hockey. And if you guys aren't familiar with professional hockey, they go through like ranks um, and you play through like their developmental leagues, which is great. You know, he was a professional hockey player. He was able to follow his dream. He'd been on skate since he was two, um, but it also was alarming at the lack of money that said professional hockey players make at different levels. But because of my Mary Kay business and the choices that I had made in my business, I was able to say, you know, I, I was 22, he was 24 when we got married. I could say, Cody, go play your, you know, go play hockey, go play um, however long you want to play, follow your dreams. I will cover everything. I can, you know, cover all of our bills. I can do that. And that was such a blessing. I was able to help him fulfill a lifelong dream because of the financial stability and choices I had because of my Mary Kay business. Um, and now, because I say I'm old and married, we'll be married eight years in August. And obviously there's a lot of life that's happened in between there. Um, like you heard from my accolades, there's been a lot of fun diamonds from Mary Kay, a lot of women, a lot of friendships, a lot of mentorships. Um, I was able to purchase my first home. My husband was away playing hockey. He actually didn't see our first home until about six months after. And I'm like, welcome to my home. I'm going to give you a tour and tell you where to put things because you have no idea. But I was able to do that and afford those choices because of my Mary Kay income at a young age. And now I'm sitting in what still feels like a dream, you guys. I moved into what I'm calling our Detroit dream house um, at the beginning of October. And this is a house that I have dreamed of since I was a little girl. I've wanted a 1920s English tutor. I've wanted it you know, tons of fireplaces. I have pictured this house for my entire life and we were able to afford it and get it. And I could design it all the ways that I want because of my Mary Kay income. And something that I valued so much in my decade in Mary Kay is that I have full control over the amount of income that I make in my Mary Kay business. You know, if I want more more money because I realized really quickly um, how expensive my dream homes and my dream styles were. I had full control of knowing that I just had to share the products with more customers and help more women make choices within their Mary Kay business and find success. And that is something that, again, if you're a fellow control freak like me, <laughs> um, I, I hope that that resonates with you. And again, I and I know Karen feels the same way. We don't share all this great stuff to be like, we're the greatest, we're special or anything like that. We want to impress upon you that you can have these choices too, whether you're a consultant or you're a customer or, you know, you're a guest and this is your first experience with Mary Kay. I value so much how our business is set up because every single person has the same opportunity in Mary Kay. You guys could, you know, make a list of all the choices tonight that you wish you could have in the next, you know, couple months, six months, year, 10 years. And somebody that, you know, helps bring you into Mary Kay will help you step-by-step step reach those goals and have those be dreams come true, which I hope gives you guys hope because a lot of the world right now is not very hopeful. And what I love with Mary Kay is that we can offer you hope that you can have a different future by the choices that you make. And the choices are great in Mary Kay right now. And there's more room at the top in Mary Kay right now. And honestly, you guys, I can say I'm more excited and passionate about my business in Mary Kay now 10 years into it than I was when I started or when I earned my first car or when my unit qualified for our first Cadillac or, you know, even this past year when we had our best year ever and we were able to become a circle of excellence and I was able to take my husband to Scotland. 
and pay nothing and Mary Kay paid for it all. Um, and all of that, I, I'm still excited because I believe the best is yet to come within Mary Kay. Um, so I hope that gives you guys some exciting, you know, perspective, some hope, some of the things that I think, obviously, you know, I'm very business minded, as you know, Karen said, like, we can talk strategy and all of that stuff. Um, and obviously, you know, with Mary Kay, it's a business. So we can teach women how to make whatever income is best for you and your family. Sometimes it's just, you know, a couple hundred extra dollars a month. Sometimes it's a lot of money. And it's, you know, replacing six figure income, or it's just having the freedom over your time and the choices with your time. You guys, sometimes that is valued more because I'm very clear. We can make more money. There's always going to be more money, but time is our most precious commodity. So being able to choose and design your life to be able to use that, how you feel you're meant to be using that, um, I think is really huge. So talking about like time freedom, I think is one of my favorite choices that I've been blessed with because of my Mary Kay business, but also the girlfriends and mentorship. I know who I am now as a 29 year old, I turned 30 next week. Um, I'm a different person now than I was obviously, thankfully when I started at 19, but I, I believe that it's, even a different caliber because of the women that I've been surrounded with, that I've been poured into, that I've been mentored by within my Mary Kay community. And I think that's something that I, I value a lot, but might not talk about as much, but I think now that I'm getting older and having a baby, um, I, I'm starting to value that so much more. And I'm so thankful for that. I remember when I first started, my mom, um, National Sales Director Donna and Sweeney said, Never take advice from somebody you wouldn't trade places with. And I've held on to that, whether that's been within my Mary Kay business or whether that's been in my, you know, spiritual walk with God, whether that's been in, you know, my marriage or, you know, financial choices or whatever it is, only taking place, only taking advice from people in places that you would trade places with, I think is huge and something that again, is a choice. And how Karen shared Linda Tupin's very famous quote at the beginning that you are where you are because of the choices that you've made or the choices you've allowed other people to make for you. I love that because it shows taking personal responsibility of the choices that you make. And I love that because again, you have control of that you can change that. And with Mary Kay right now, you could change that for $30, you guys, $30. And your life could look very different. And it can look different quickly, too, if you choose to. So I hope that this has given you guys some, you know, some perspective, um, you know, some different ways to think about Mary Kay. So if you're a guest, obviously, we would absolutely love to have you. If you're a customer, we would love for you just to boldly share your love for the Mary Kay products. And maybe there's some people that you know that, you know, you think would love hearing about choices and this could give them hope um, for a future. And for consultants, I hope that you guys know that this is the best time to be in Mary Kay as we're in our 60th anniversary year. And I really believe the best is yet to come. Thanks for letting me share. All then, thank you. And not just for sharing tonight, but thank you for the choices that you have continued to make to build your business and change lives. You've impacted my life. And now you're impacting the lives of all of these women here who are listening. I love your story. One of the choices that I love that you've been able to make is because you've chosen to have a great work ethic and consistency in building your business. I remember when Cody was um, playing hockey in Europe and you were able to go over there to see him at different times, you know, and now with the baby coming, you're going to be able to have time and choices to make, to have time off with the baby and to work your life around that newborn. So I love the choices you've made. I love you. I'm so grateful for you sharing.